Ana, it's not going anywhere. It's in effect until 6 p.m. for every single county in southeast Texas. It was even extended all the way to the coast this morning as even coastal areas are picking up on some frozen precipitation. And that is why today is an ABC 13 weather alert day. And weather alert days continue tomorrow and Wednesday as this bitter cold air, it's not going anywhere. And neither are the impacts. So today, here's what to expect. Freezing temperatures. That is why we're going to potentially see icy conditions throughout the day and even into the overnight hours. I increased all of these to the high range. There is the high probability that you will have bitterly cold wind chills, freezing temperatures, and even icy conditions on the ground today because of this cold weather. And we've even gotten reports of snow mixing in at times. Not the big, pretty, fluffy snow, but some snow that could be developing as it is just a very cold day outside. Now, 13 alert radar really painting the picture beautifully right now. This is a scattered freezing rain mixing with sleet and snow at times across the region. And just a little bit of this is a lot when it comes to impact. So let's go farther north right now. You can see some clearing from Conroe to Huntsville, but we do have a nice pocket of freezing rain that potentially just moved through Cleveland to the west where we've seen a lot of issues on I-10 with slippery roads and overpasses. Overpasses and bridges from this point out, potentially impassable. Don't try them. You see continuing to have some freezing rain and drizzle, potentially sleet mixing in near Sealy, and even closer to the coast where you would expect that that freezing line would be helping turn some of this freezing rain to rain, potentially not so as 13 alert radar is continuing to show that potential for freezing rain from Lake Jackson through Angleton and Brazoria County, through Galveston County, portions of southeastern Harris County, all the way up to Mount, Mount Bellevue and Chambers County as well with that frozen precipitation right now. And the kicker really is, Brianna, any ice that falls tonight, it's not going to go anywhere. Tonight, even potentially tomorrow morning because of how cold it's going to be. Tomorrow morning, we could be waking up to wind chill values, making it feel like zero to 10 degrees with a hard freeze on the way. I'll have more on that and what to expect for the second.